Let's see, the next item would be comments from our general manager. I have a few. Uh, first of all, I want to thank the board for uh, hiring me and bringing me on. Uh, it's been uh, a fun two weeks so far, and uh, two and a half weeks. Uh, You're not resigning, are you? No, no, no. <laughs> I, I told my wife. I told my wife this. I, it's probably the best job I've ever had, and it was too bad I waited these many years to be here. But um, uh, I been around touring the uh, water system with the guys and kick the tires and, and everything and I feel like I've got a decent handle on on uh, some of the issues and, and I, I know I've forgotten a lot more than I've already learned but uh, I'm, I'm getting, you know, pardon the pun, I'm getting my feet wet and, and uh, enjoying the time. Um, um, I do, in, in front of you, is a message I'd like to put up on, on our website, a message from the general manager. And, sure. and I know in the past uh, there's been some issues on that, and so I just want to make sure you guys are okay with, uh, with that going up. And, um, yeah, you got it. So, um, you already have it. And I've had a chance, I think I've met with all three media uh, folks uh, in the last two weeks and, and I have to say that uh, the reporting has been fair and honest and I just, I, I'm not used to that in, in previous <laughs> media markets. Uh, it's, it's, it's refreshing. I'm making that comment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe two and a half weeks will be one publication. Yeah. And uh, in, anyways, it, it, it's been really nice to uh, get uh, started here in Mesquite and um, as I said, my uh, manager, message from the general manager uh, and everybody I've run into at uh, in Mesquite so far has been really pleasant and friendly and uh, I just feel very comfortable here. Uh, getting on to what uh, I actually had written up there um, and ties into the getting around and seeing the system and, and talking with the guys about uh, the operations and everything like that. Uh, uh, we've identified we need a, an additional valve up near the airport uh, to help isolate a line that, uh, it, and we found out uh, that uh, their Mesquite City put that line in. Uh, and there's two four-inch cables that are running in the same trench as, as our water line up there, and it's a little trickier to get the valve in than we thought it was going to be. Uh, so we're, you know, we don't want to nick one of those. One's a power cable, and the other one's a communications cable, and we don't want to nick either one of those. Uh, but it's nick one, make it the communication cable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyway, so it's uh, it, we're still going to be within the six thousand uh, dollar budget uh, that I, I have there, but it's just going to be a little bit trickier to get the valve installed than we originally thought. And then there's a, a 360 foot uh, line that we want to uh, run to in a dead end that's over by the Taco Bell in that area, and, and loop that in there to uh, help both with the pressure and fire flow uh, in, in that area. It's going to cost about sixteen thousand um, dollars, and and that's one we're actually going to bid out and. Uh, before we can do that, we want to get our, our bidding process uh, uh, amended by the board and, and approved uh, to more comply with the Nevada law uh, and, and make sure they're on, on board with that. So that one's going to be a little bit further out, but I just wanted to report that one to you. Just a question on that. Yeah. Is that not something we can do right now? Just, I mean, yeah, and, that. Yeah, and, and, and well, we could do that in-house, but uh, we uh, boy, we've been running into an awful lot of leaks that the guys have uh, been working on, and, and you know, I, I just don't want to leave trenches open and, and things like that while guys are out doing water fixing water leaks and stuff. So, yeah, we could do it in house. Um, I, I think we'd get a better bang for a buck if we uh, contracted that out. So, uh, and the numerous water leaks. Uh, we've only had one this week. We had multiple water leaks last week and the week before, and the guys have been extremely busy out uh, uh, repairing those. That time of the year. Yeah, the heat uh, seems to drive that up. Uh, construction bidding process improvements. Uh, we've been in contact, Aaron's been in contact with the city of Mesquite. Uh, we're looking at uh, amending their process to you know, fit our needs. Uh, and uh, we don't want to reinvent the wheel, so they've already got something that's uh, fairly decent in place, so we're um, going to make this as fairly quick and possible as uh, we can and get that to the board uh, hopefully by the next board meeting for your approval to, to you know, change our uh, bidding process 
over to uh, similar to what City of Mesquite does. Um, sanitary survey, Aaron's already reported on that. Uh, some, one of the, the fun things about being new is you get to walk around and ask why we do certain things and why things are a certain way and, and you get to play really dumb uh, in, in, in doing that because you really don't know why things are done a certain way. And uh, uh, some of the things um, uh, we want to uh, accomplish in, in talking with the staff uh, is make improvements to the background uh, where the customer service uh, folks are at. Uh, and include a picture. We, we just had a, a group picture taken yesterday. We're going to have a group picture of all of this uh, on the wall there and then have pictures of all of our facilities up on the wall. Uh, not all of them, but uh, you know, kind of indicating. The ones. Yeah, we have the, the treatment plants and <laughs> some of the nicer wells uh, and things like that so that uh, when folks come in they understand a little bit more or maybe yeah. ask a question about what uh, that particular picture may be and help educate folks on you know, our water system, as I mentioned in my general managers, uh, I mean, we have a very complex water system uh, in Mesquite, and uh, I don't think the general public understands how complex this is. And this is just one of those ways to try try and help improve uh, that education. Um, and one of the couple of things I noticed is uh, both Wes and Aaron have uh, these little tiny com uh, computer screens that they're trying to read these large GIS maps and and large spreadsheets and everything like that, and I just I, I felt bad for them, so I went ahead and ordered them a couple of uh, large screens uh, for their computers so that uh, it'll take the eye strain off of them just a little bit and help them be a little bit more efficient. I don't know, I think we're going downhill. We went from <coughs> the nice table with the skirting to yeah. fold up and... Yeah. I, I have to admit I was not a big fan of the other ones. and, <laughs> and we, 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 we had a meeting with Bo and Collins uh, a couple weeks ago and came in to have a, a discussion uh, uh, around a table and we had those other tables in here and it was almost impossible to sit down and have a, a conference room type discussion and so I made a decision to bring this table in back from the dead. So uh, The water rates uh, study status, as I mentioned in here, we met with Mike Chandler from Bowen Collins to uh, discuss uh, some ideas and uh, uh, develop some assumptions for further evaluation. Uh, we're still probably about a month away from uh, having a, being able to have a work meeting relative to the rate study, um, but uh, that will be coming uh, coming up in a little bit. I, with staff, I have uh, I take a look at uh, some additional things that uh, needed to be included in our capital improvement plan. Um, we're we're going to sit down together and, and come up with a, a, a good plan to discuss with the board uh, that not only talks about you know redundancy in, in the water system and things like that, but this building's 20 years old. It's not seen new carpet or paint in those 20 years, and you know those things we need to factor into our budget uh, in the long run. And so those types of things we're going to be talking about in the future. Uh, we do have more carpet on the floor, though, I know this. In this room, yeah. But if you go back there, there's holes in the carpet. And it just We do own the sand yeah. next door, too. <laughs> yeah. And then lastly, the Ben Franklin Booster Station uh, property issue. Uh, it was visited by one of the local real estate folks uh, who has 14 acres of uh, commercial property that's uh, up for sale. And back when we installed the booster station, the Ben Franklin Booster Station, uh, that piece of property was owned by the city, <clears throat> and so no deed or anything to that uh, booster station was uh, included um, as part of it. And then when the city sold that property uh, to the developers, um, uh, nothing was done with that. And now they're getting ready to uh, try and sell the property, and they've been paying taxes on that property for the improvements that have been made on the property, i.e. the booster station. And uh, they, they would like us to remove that property from uh, the county assessors by you know, legal deed and everything. Uh, I've been in contact with Bullock Brothers. I have a proposal from them to do the work uh, for $2,500. Uh, according to Nevada state law, they have to actually go out and do a legal survey of that 6,000 square foot site and set the property corners and then uh, do the paperwork and file that. Uh, so. Um, Where's this property at? Mesquite Coal. 
Yeah, it's not. Uh, I'm going to do it best. Yeah. I'm going to do it best. Yeah. Corner to do it best properly. So we're going to move forward with that uh, effort to um, segregate that little piece of property from the 14 acres so that uh, that real estate transaction can take place. Uh, so that's my report. I'm happy to be here. Okay, well, thank you very much. We appreciate it. We really do.